Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic because this is my channel, y'all. Um, but today I'm coming at you with another K-pop topic. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why K-pop fandoms are toxic. There are some of y'all who are going to get defensive and I'm I'm prepared and I'm ready for this. I'm willing to have a dialogue with you guys and try to understand your perspective on this as well. But I'm going to go ahead and bring you some basics about why I believe that the K-pop community is on a whole toxic and not individual to any specific fandom and this is bred not because of any of the fandoms any of the fans or any of the groups but due to the actual nature of the k-pop community that is outside of any of our grasp so you might be wondering what the heck are you talking about you're not making any sense i don't like this fandom because they said this and yes that may be true. There is a deeper reason as to why you were led to think that in the first place. To that, you might say, well, it was this specific person that said it or this fandom that said this thing about my group. That's why I don't like them. But when you say just that, you are taking away from the larger problem, which is that the K-pop community is bred on competition. And I don't mean this in the same way that you have Western artists competing to be the top seller. The K-pop community has those same elements, but they ramp it up in different ways where it becomes a competition on who can have more of something or who can be the winner. A large section of the K-pop industry is literally bred on competition. Every week, there are multiple music shows in which groups are able to go on these music shows and promote their music, but promotion is just another way for competition. These groups are going on these shows to battle for the top slots. This is literally ingrained on multiple shows, multiple days, where these groups are literally pit against each other. It becomes more than just how is this song doing in the charts, but it becomes how are the fans of this group voting? Are they putting out enough force so that they can leave a mark on the industry? How much is this being listened to? How much is this being streamed? How much is this song being bought by the public? And what that becomes is a competition of numbers. And it doesn't necessarily mean that a group is liked more or liked less, but it means how much can they reach the number of people they need to reach this level that they can become this top level group. And that is part of the competition that is ingrained within the K-pop industry. Things like King of Masks Singer, where people will go onto the show competing under a mask to try to vie for who is the best singer. And while this gives chances for people to promote and show their talents, again, it's how far can they go? Are they good enough? constantly within this culture they're being put on this pedestal of are they good enough it is a constant battle of who is better and because of this this raises tensions within groups because that makes it to the point where if you are voting and you are sympathizing with another group that is potentially taking away from the another group that you may love which is part of why in Korea being a multi fandom fan is less common if you are ingrained within a fandom because the expectations of somebody within a fandom 
go above and beyond what would you would typically find for a fan of say a western artist because not because there is not competition in all markets but because the level of competition and what is expected of a fan to participate and do and do forth for their artists to allow them to reach these levels so that they can compete is much higher and it's not necessarily a bad thing but it does breed for this constant tension between opposing groups. Competition is the heart of capitalism, which it's not in itself a truly bad thing. However, capitalism can be pushed to certain extremes. I don't wanna go into a capitalist rant. I don't wanna do this. Um, I'm gonna reel this back. Yeah, I just made that noise. I had a little bit to drink. Love me anyway. And this competition inspires people to be all or nothing, in or out, and that makes people hostile. It makes people nervous about not liking something. It makes people uncomfortable with other people liking other things. And when that happens, hostilities arise. A person should be able to love a group no matter what. A person should be able to support them and that group should be able to thrive or even die at their own merits. But when an industry is pushing so hard for there to be these levels of competition, it's impossible for the people that are ingrained within this culture to not also respond in the same way. K-pop is the way it is right now. And there are certainly things that could change to make the environment better for fans of all different groups and all different artists. But that requires change and acknowledgement of what is actually going on and moving past the small individual and discrepancies and issues that arise with whatever is happening and recognizing that it is largely due to the way the entire system is set up, that things were automatically, no matter what, going to end up being pointed against one versus another. And once we can accept that, then maybe we can start to find ways so that the competition can be done in a healthier manner. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've recognized before that maybe it's a bigger problem than just what one person or one fandom says versus another and that it might be something that is a larger systematic problem, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any ideas of certain things that might change that might make the environment better for the K-pop community as a whole, let me know that in the comments down below too. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Y'all, I didn't even realize I had the competition up in here. But it's all there. Like